Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you three examples from the fifth round of the chess Olympiad. Uh, we are not going to cover the whole game, but the important positions where players made mistake and which was the reason behind their losses. Okay, so let's start. The first position is in front of you. Uh, this uh, position is from the game. Uh, Adivan versus Etturi Zaga Bonelli. So Team India uh, A was paired against Team uh, Team Spain. So this is the position and this is black to play. The recent move from the Adivan was the Bishop C6. Now it is uh, black chance to play, and already I'll uh, suggest you uh, to pause the video and to try and find the best continuation for black. So like will you take bishop into c6 or play some other move. So these decisions are not easy to make so you can take enough time to come up with a reply. Okay so I'll I'll go with the answer. In the game uh, Itturi Zaga took on c6 and which was a mistake. So we will see why. So after bishop into c6. Uh, White took d to c6 and the pawn's way, the c6 pawn's way, like no one is covering uh, or controlling those c7 and c8 square. So it becomes a very dangerous passed pawn. Now in order to stop it in uh, that c pawn, uh, black played the move knight e6. But it is not enough as white can play the move of queen e5 which is controlling the c7 square. Black plays knight c7. Uh, but white can simply take it queen into e3 check and king h2 the king is quite safe on h2 and the c6 pawn is dangerous so queen e8 queen d6 queen c8 bishop into f6 g into f6 queen d7 black resigned in this position so adiban won uh, this position this game so what was the right continuation so we have to understand that the d5 pawn uh, from this square uh, its way to the queening square it's not easy as d7 is well guarded by uh, black pieces. So just moving the bishop to a6 is the best move. Uh, and if I tries to play the move d6 now uh, d7 is threat so like we can play bishop c8 and simply increase our control over the d7 square. White is still tiny bit better but black is still fighting. Let's move on to the next example. This position is from the game Alexi Shiro versus Gukesh D. So in the round fifth, uh, Team India B was paired against Team Spain. So this is the position. Uh, white Alexi Shiro is white, and here he made a mistake. So you can pause the video and try to come up with a continuation. Black's latest move is the pawn to e5. Now how would you react to this pawn move? Go slowly, evaluate the position, try to see what is going on in this position. Take time. So will you capture on e5 or push the pawn on f5? See material is equal. In the game, white played the move f5 and this is a mistake. So black continues with the move knight a5. And the idea is to put the knight on b3 which is a nice outpost and the knight will further support the d4 pawn. Also from b3 knight can go to c5 attacking the e4 pawn. Now why f5 is a mistake? Actually f5 closes down the position and f5 is an obstruction for white's counter attack. So it has closed down the f file so white cannot generate any counter play along that file. To continue with, in the game white played knight e6, this looks really good, but actually uh, after knight b3, the knight on e6 even cannot take on g7. So white plays king b1, king b6, and rook c2 happened in the game. And after rook h4, we can easily see that e4 is under attack, h2 is weakness, and the d1 rook is not playing any role in the game. So. After rook c4, rook into e4, rook into a4, knight c5, rook b4 check, king c6, rook c1, rook e2, h4, king d5 
and slowly black uh, was progressing brought his king on f3 and won the game let's see uh, the variations so here playing moves like rook e2 to support the e4 pawn also doesn't work because of knight c5 and if takes then the c pawn gets quite strong c4 king c5 is coming so this is lost for white so after king b6 taking on g7 knight into g7 so black will play rook g8 this pins down the knight after pawn f6 black can simply play rook f7 and rook f1 can be met with the mood d3 and you can see a uh, easy plan for black d2 will be protected uh, with the knight and king c5 king d4 is coming even the pawn move like d5 is a threat for example h4 d5 into d5 e4 h5 e3 and these pawns are very strong and finally black will make queen so let's see the correct continuation now taking on e5 is the right continuation in this position so of course black will take it back and now white has to seize the f file so rook f1 now the earlier idea which black employed knight a5 is not working here as we can play rook f7 and we are exchanging one of the rooks so if rook c8 check then king d1 and after exchange of this rook uh, black's weaknesses are still there and it is equal position so this was the point there is one more variation if black tries to play rook h4 then we can play king c2 king a6 and rook f8 so from behind rook will start counter attacking and uh, pose some problems to black again this is equal position the difference is the rook is getting activated in this line and the f5 line it was passively placed on d1 so this mattered in the game let's move on to the next example this position is from the game irigasi arjun versus parli grass mercia emilian so this team uh, india a okay so we can see the latest move white has played the move e5 so the result of the game is white won this game uh, irigasi arjun won this game so this is a critical moment uh, if we evaluate white has 5 pawns black also has 5 pawns but it is the position with double bishop versus pair of knights now actually black has managed to create a blockade uh, on those two uh, passed pawns but here he makes a mistake again uh, you can pause the video and try to find the continuation for black to maintain the equality okay in the game white played the move h4 so this is a committal move now what happens is uh, it weakens some of the light squares and also uh, black missed uh, white's plan so let's see after bishop h2 uh, black again plays the move b5 and the great plan for white is to just improve his king on f5 square so after king e4 in the game happened knight d5 bishop h3 this allowed bishop h3 and if black takes on c3 that is king f5 knight d4 and king into g5 and those pawns are very strong so e7 is the threat and after king eight bishop h5 and white won this game so this happened in the game now let's see some variations suppose here black does not take on c3 and plays the move of knight d f4 again but here we can take on f4 and after g into f4 king f5 so the idea is to play king f6 and win the knight so this is the moment black has to move his knight knight c5 and after king f6 king d8 e6 and the pawn is very strong this is winning position for white let's see some more variations now instead of b5 black still had this one uh, move to continue that is h3 and the idea is to meet the move king e4 with the move knight g2 
and at least uh, black has managed to stop the bishop's activation on the h3 square so black should uh, prevent bishop h3 because it pins the knight and it creates dangerous problems for black so what was the best move so best move was to simply play knight d5 instead of h4 so this is a check and of course it prevents white from king e4 so if king directly goes to e4 black can play one more check knight c5 so king f5 is prevented as there is knight e3 check and winning the f1 bishop so king has to move to d4 and there can be repetition here so instead of king a4 let's say white goes to d3 now the c4 is a threat so black can play the move b5 stopping it uh, if c4 then there is uh, b into c4 king into c4 knight e3 check and winning the light square bishop so directly c4 is not possible so let's see the move bishop h3 now bishop went on to that h3 square and the knight is pinned but here black has very nice resource pause the video to find that black can play the move of g4 this is very interesting move and i think in the calculations uh, black missed this move and that's why i didn't play this line so after f into g4 again there is a very nice move h4 so bishop if bishop takes on h4 then there is knight e f4 check king e4 knight into h3 and this position is still critical and but white will hold it for a draw so the likely result is draw one more variation that is if white plays bishop f2 so it covers the e3 square now c4 is a threat but in this case the f4 square is now uncontrolled so after a5 c4 knight df4 check uh, king c3 b into c4 bishop into c4 and now h4 so now bishop is on the lo uh, wrong diagonal and black manages to save this position so these were the three positions where players made mistakes and that was the reason behind the losses so of course uh, these games are very tensed and uh, when these uh, arised uh, they were under time pressure also so that was it i hope you like my explanation thanks for watching